Yo, what's going on YouTube? Your boy Caesar here, and welcome to another video on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Big welcome to the channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. So today we are going to be giving Fernando Hero a player review with some gameplay. I did go and pick him up from Icon Swaps 2. I did have Screen PK at the back, but I decided to go with uh, Fernando Hero. I did pick him up for six six icon swaps i think it was um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna be giving giving him a review with, with some gameplay in today's video and seeing if he is worth the six tokens so just um looking looking at his card as you can see i have put a shadow on him that is the team i am going to be playing him with alongside bobby moore to stegen and uh, tellers and then we're looking at his card first 75 pace, 65 shooting, 73 passing, 71 dribbling, 87 uh, defense with 82 physical, 62 medium height, which is very good for me. Uh, three star, two star. So he's got he's got an all right weak foot for a defender. Skill moves is irrelevant uh, for a defender in my opinion, but the medium high work rates for uh, the defensive side of things is going to be really important. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. So yeah, he, he looks he looks like a he looks like a decent card. He's really tall as well, with uh, being six two. So he is gonna be uh, he is gonna be winning those headers as well at the back. So looking at his in games, as you can see, he is on ten chemistry. I have put a shadow on him. So his acceleration and his sprint speed both go up to ninety. So he is gonna be super quick at the back. His uh, shadow also improves his defending. So his interceptions have gone up to ninety seven. Uh, his head and accuracy, sorry, has <coughs> gone up to, to 94, defensive awareness 97, standing tackle 93 and his slot tackle uh, being 94, so, uh, sorry, 84, beg your pardon, and stamina is 78, but it doesn't matter for a centre-back in my opinion, he's got really good balance and agility combined, reactions and ball control are really good composures okay his dribblings have been on the low side but it shouldn't be a problem because i don't really i don't really dribble out uh, from the back with my defenders i kind of just like pass it to the left back or the right back or if if uh, the center mid comes short so he looks all right uh, off off the bat i've paired him with bobby moore at the back we've got kante in the middle uh, Aguero, Felipe Anderson, we've got Pep Guardiola, we have, uh, we've got Dan James as well. Uh, it's not the fully upgraded version, so uh, I once once I do get the fully upgraded version of him, I will be I will be using him, seeing what he's about. Uh, we've got Trent right back as well, and then we have got player Adam of Messi. So custom tactics, I am going to be rocking the four triple two, pressure on heavy touch, whiff. I am going to be rocking a uh, five depth on four. Balanced for the offensive style, we have got four on the whip, four on the players in box, two on the corners, and two on the free kicks. So, team-wise then, Messi and Aguero up top, Felipe Anderson on the left, Dan James on the right, Kante and Pep Guardiola in the two CDM roles. Hero is going to be playing the left side of centre-back, Bobby Moore on the right. Uh, obviously, Tellez is playing left-back, and Trent Alexander-Arnold is playing right-back. And then obviously the Stegen in goal. So Messi and Aguero, we've both got them on defaults for Everton besides the defensive support. Now that's going to be the same for uh, or the front four actually. And then uh, Kante and Pep Guardiola, we've got on cover centre, stay back while attacking. And then the back four, stay back while attacking. And then defaults for Everton else. And then to Stegen, we have on sweeper keeper. So... That's the team I'm using for the review. That is uh, custom tactics and the player instructions. Uh, everyone's on 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 full fitness. Contracts are good, so I think it's only Messi that's on on seven cam. I do believe. So let's get into some gameplay. And our first first opponent is going to be uh, Mbappe up top. He's got played them of Ben Yedder, Foot Mr. Zoko, Dembele, Kante. Champions League Neymar, Dalbert, Rio Ferdinand, uh, Road to the Final, Joe Gomez, Testegen, and Semedo right back. So, as you can see then, 
we're gonna give the ball to Hero and then let's test out his passing. Like he feels good on the ball, I'm not gonna lie. Like I know I know it's just one bit of one bit of uh, play with him, but excuse me, he does he does feel he, he, he feels really good. So our opponent's uh, working his way up and look at that interception straight away. And now Hero does get a bodied a little bit off the ball, but I do believe that was a foul, but nonetheless, um So we picked the ball up with Hero then. And now let's test out his long passing. Now Moore gets it. He nearly nearly gives it away, but he picks it up, gives it to Dan James, and Dan James gets bodied on the edge of the area. Like yeah, that's the one thing about Dan James you will find out his strength is is not the greatest. So little free kick with uh, with Messi, not the greatest free kick I must admit, but we get a shot on target anyway. So our opponents giving it to Neymar, he's working his way up the pitch. Now look at that interception from Kante, the guy is unreal. Give the ball back to Hero. Now his test out his passing again, his short passing, not a problem. Not a problem. Now look at, look at his dribbling. Like if it, it, the ball, the I like it when when you dribble and the ball stays close to your body. If that makes sense, like well to your feet, I should have said. Yeah, I can feel it. You can feel it with certain players, and the hero is definitely one of those. So his ball control is really good. So we pick the ball up at Messi. Nice bit of skill to go past the defender. A little ball roll. Ball gets took off him, Felipe Anderson no, little back heel to Lionel Messi, drag back, oh shh, we go 1-0 up guys, like, that P-roller along the floor, uh, apologies for the celebration, uh, I only really use that in the, in the weekend league to, to try and annoy my um, opponents, so apologies for that one, but, really good finish from Lionel Messi, nice build up play, and uh, I do believe it started from Hero as well, so he's, uh, he's had a say in the goal. So nice little pass into Kante from Hero. So he's got that vision to, to find his man and when he's being closed down as well. Same again there, and look, look at that passing. Lovely one-touch passing. And the outside of the foot pass down to Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. I'm really impressed with that one. So we're working our way up the pitch then. Pep Guardiola. Oh, look at that bit of skill. Ball roll past Sissoko. Now he's not the easiest of midfielders to play against. And uh, we work our way into the box. Try and get the cut back. And it's a Stegen. Saves it with his feet. Get the ball back. Philippe Anderson with the Berber spin. And then, oh, nearly got the shots away with, with Cunaguero. But it doesn't quite work out. So, next bit of gameplay then. Look at that chip. Chip through the middle to Bobby Moore. And then we get it back to Hero. And then the long pass down to Dan James. So as I said before, his passing is incredible. Now I had screen PK in there, and his passing was also insane. But I like a I like a defender who can play out the back, uh, play out from the back if I do need him to. And Hero definitely feels like he could be one of those. So look at that strong tackle from Hero there. You're not going past him. You are not going past him. Get a bit lucky with the pass uh, to Kante, was a bit heavy, but we get the ball back. Lovely bit of skill past the defender, and then once again, we get a bit lucky with Kante. The back heel into Felipe Anderson, take a pass one. And look at that again to Stegen with his feet. I don't know if he if he has the, the save to feet trait. I, d I don't know, I don't know. I know De Gea definitely has it, but to Stegen feels like he's got it in this game, man, I'm telling you. So, yeah, we're back. Back with Hero, and look, can we pick out the long ball? Not quite, but we do get lucky with the, the ball coming back to us. So, his long passing, I don't know about his, his over-the-top passing. I'm not sure just yet. So, we, we'll test that out a little bit more, hopefully. Right then. So, ball into Aguero. Pass down to Felipe Anderson, a little bit of skill. Can we get the ball back and look at this? A save again. I feel like I should be doing a review for the Stegen here, guys. Like, saving everything, man. Look, again. <laughs> he's, he's, he's unreal. By far the best keeper on the game, in my opinion. I, I, I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, he's so good. Right, Hero picking the ball up. Look at that drive into midfield. Really impressed with that. And look at the strength. It was Ben Yedda who, who, who was putting pressure on him. So, just bearing that in mind. But he was showing really good strength. To pick the pass out as well, so 
I'm really happy with that one. Get the ball with Aguero. Oh, that bit of skill. And another save. Another save. How is it only 1 1? Like, I, I, I don't understand. Right, get the ball back to Aero. Let's start the play again. Pass into Felipe Anderson. A little bit of skill. Pass to, the, pass to Zoko, I think it was. Joe Gomez takes the ball off us there. And um, he works his way back up the pitch. Ball in the middle to Ben Yedda. Down to Neymar. And then the ball in into Ben Yedda. And then Arthur Stegen this time pulls off a worldie. So it's the keepers in the game. So I'm really happy with that one. Right, Hero. Long ball again. Now he, he picks out his man this time. He picks out him, uh, his man. So I'm happy with that one. I think the, the, the other one was just missed time by myself. So apologies for that one. But he can pull them off. He can pull them off. So. Get the ball back to Kante, let's, uh, let's work our way back into the box, a little bit of a spin, and we get the ball, a tough off us there, Got a lovely bit of defending from from our opponent, and look at this, look who's there to get the ball off him, Hero, so he's got the he's got the awareness of, of where the ball's going to be, and the interceptions coming clutch there as well, we got a bit lucky uh, getting the throw back from it, but I'll take it guys. So look at that long pass as well to tell us to uh, to the other side of the pitch. So I think I think his long passing um, is is all right. It's it's definitely all right. It's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be after after his missed time and that first one. So Pep Guardiola, little step over, get the ball to Messi, heel to heel, little ball roll, and we're working our way into the box. Can we get the cross in back post? Oh, no, nah, not not quite, not quite. So that is going to be the end of the gameplay, guys. As you can see, Hero picked up the 7.4, so he was the third third best player on 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 the pitch, I do believe. So he's he, he's all right. He's definitely he's definitely good. Um, shots on target, he didn't have none. Passes completed, 21 out of 26 passes, guys. Like that's more than what more than anyone else. Yeah. Dribbles, 23 out of 25, so he's really, really good with the ball uh, at uh, at his feet, I should say. Tackles, 1 out of 3, so it's it's not the greatest, but he's definitely won one of them, so it's, uh, it's more than enough for me. Saves and fitnesses are irrelevant. Right then, so, Fernando Hero, 5, five icon swap tokens. If, if you need the centre-back, you want an icon, you don't currently have one yet. Go and pick him up because he will do a job for you. With the shadow on him, you can definitely, definitely feel the pace. He is super quick. His intercep interceptions are insane, as you've seen in the review video. Um, in the gameplay, sorry. Right. What else? What, what else is there? Defensive awareness, really good. Once again, his agility and balance, you can't really notice it. It's it's actually really good combined as well. So I'm happy with that one. Long passing and short passing. Now, his long passing, like on there, is better than the short passing. But I'd say short passing is definitely better than his long passing. His strength, 85 strength, and his jumping, you could definitely notice that he was bodying so many strikers off the ball. Um, well, sorry, Mbappe and Ben Yedder, he was bodying them off the ball. His um, his aggression is a uh, is a little bit on the low side, but. It's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Dribbling sixty-five. Um, I, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I agree with that one because he, he, there was a few times when he was he was storming into midfield and and, and his dribbling seemed okay to me. But that is going to be the end of today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you knew. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, good luck. Not good luck. <laughs> um. Yeah, if you're going to pick them up, go and pick them up. And I, I thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Peace.